All right, title, what's up? We got our board briefing for the 13th of February. Month is flying by. A couple weeks till the open. Uh, three rounds for time RX, four and a 500 meter row, respectively. 21 burpee pull ups. So the pull ups would be done for RX with a bar six inches or above out of your fingertip reach. Both hands above. All right. Um, to the pull up bar. Now, level two, three rounds for time, same four or 500 meter row, 12 burpee pull ups instead of 21. With your fingertips um, about an inch away from the bar. Okay. And then we have level one, three rounds for time, 200 or 250 meter row, 12 burpee pull ups. Um, some of us need, might need a box for this one. So. If you're doing jumping pull-ups in a workout, I suggest you use the same technique, except you'll get off the box, do a burpee, get on the box, do a jumping pull-up. I don't really like the two and the 250 row. I would probably go a little bit more. And knowing the athletes in the gym, um, I would challenge you to do, you know, four or 500 meters or three or 400 meters as far as level one goes, all right? Things we're looking for, time frame. We want to be about 11 to 15 minutes in this workout. Rows about a minute 40 to 2.15. It should take you around. That's moving at a pretty brisk pace there, the, the 140. The burpee pull-ups, 90 seconds to 2 minutes. Now, the burpee pull-ups might scare a few people. Uh, here's a couple tricks that you might want to use that I use in workouts. When you're jumping to do a jumping or a burpee pull-up, jump onto the bar and use your upward motion or trajectory to grab the bar and pull hard, okay? That way you don't have to stop, lock out your elbow again, and then go back up. You can just jump up, and as you're going up, you're pulling your chin over the bar. Now, um, this is a little different than a regular pull-up. My arms do not need to start on a locked out position. Okay, I can have them bent, but I don't suggest you jump on the bar and have your arms bent and you're just hanging there and then do a pull up. I don't mind if you jump on the bar and do the pull up as you're on the ascent, um, just a little less stress on your elbows. That's what I'm trying to stay away from here. If you need to come to lockout and do a kipping pull up after that, that's fine too. Okay, so either way is fine. Just the other way is a little bit faster and a little bit more efficient. The other thing that needs to be sort of talked about in this workout is the use of your legs. So we got the rower, so which is strong leg drive, finish with the arms, the burpee pull up, um, strong leg drive with a jump, little use of the arms. So same kind of thing. So we're going to repeat on our muscle groups. Um, let's make sure we're getting our chin over the bar. Do I have to lock out at the bottom? No, I can get my chin off the bar and I can come right off the bar as that happens. So chin over. That's all that has to happen. I can jump up off the bar, okay? This is like an open style, very cardiovascular heavy workout. So you're going to be breathing hard and getting uncomfortable. And that is just fine. Really go for it on this workout, guys. Have some fun with it. Hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy.